Have you ever wondered how behavior can be modified and shaped over time? This question is at the heart of behavior modification, a concept largely developed by a man named B.F. Skinner. Skinner pioneered the study of operant conditioning, a theory suggesting that behavior is controlled by its consequences. Whether it's a reward or a punishment, these consequences can shape how we act, react, and interact with the world around us. Enter B.F. Skinner, a man whose experiments would revolutionize our understanding of behavior. In the 1930s, Skinner began his experiments. His first significant work, the Skinner Box, a simple yet ingenious device, the Skinner Box was a small enclosed space where Skinner could closely observe the behavior of rats. The box had a lever that, when pressed by the rat, would dispense a food pellet. Skinner noted that over time, the rats learned to press the lever to receive the reward, demonstrating the concept of positive reinforcement. This was a groundbreaking discovery. He established that behavior could be influenced and shaped by consequences, a principle that became the cornerstone of operant conditioning. Through the Skinner box experiment, he demonstrated how a rat's interaction with its environment could be modified through rewards. This principle of reinforcement was a revolutionary concept, one that would shape the course of behaviorism and behavior modification techniques. This was just the beginning. Skinner's next experiment would further solidify his theories. Skinner's next experiment involved a new creature, pigeons. Venturing into the avian world, Skinner aimed to shape the behavior of these birds using a method he called shaping. What is shaping you ask? Well, it's a process of reinforcing behaviors that are incrementally closer to the desired outcome. In Skinner's case, he wanted his pigeons to turn in a circle. But instead of waiting for a pigeon to randomly spin, he began rewarding them for smaller actions that were steps towards the final goal. At first, a pigeon might be rewarded for merely looking left or right. Then, rewards would be given for a small, awkward hop in the right direction. Gradually, the criteria for rewards became stricter only given when the pigeon made a more complete turn. This method was slow and tedious, yes, but it was also incredibly effective. Skinner's pigeons eventually learned to spin on command, demonstrating that even complex behaviors could be shaped through gradual reinforcement. This experiment was significant, not just for the world of pigeons, but for understanding behavior in general. It showed that with patience and the right reinforcement, one could shape behavior one small step at a time, Skinner's work with shaping behaviors was a cornerstone of his operant conditioning experiments, shedding light on how we learn and adapt. It emphasized the importance of the journey, the process, in reaching a desired behavior. Skinner's experiments were groundbreaking, but what were the key takeaways from his work? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the legacy of B.F. Skinner's pioneering work. Skinner's experiments in operant conditioning have left an indelible mark on various fields. His work helped lay the groundwork for modern behaviorism, offering a new perspective on how actions are learned and changed. Skinner's principles of reinforcement and punishment became fundamental tools in behavior modification. He showed us that behavior is malleable, that it can be shaped and reshaped through the strategic use of rewards and penalties. In the field of psychology, Skinner's principles are widely used in cognitive behavioral therapy, helping individuals change harmful patterns of behavior. In education, Teachers apply Skinner's techniques to encourage positive classroom behavior and discourage disruptive ones. In therapy, behavior modification techniques have been used to treat conditions like ADHD and phobias. Skinner's legacy extends beyond these fields. His principles of operant conditioning continue to shape our understanding of behavior and learning. So the next time you think about behavior modification, remember Skinner's pigeons and rats. They were the first step in understanding how behavior is shaped.